Hi, I'm Chris Converse, and thank you for joining me today. So I'm going to spend a few minutes and dive a little deeper into the new shared review workflow. If you followed our episode um, earlier this week, you know that brand new versions of Acrobat for the desktop, mobile, and the website have all launched. And there's a new unified interface, so everything looks uh, consistent. Um, and I touched a little bit about shared review, but I really want to dive into that a little deeper today because this is probably one of my favorite features of Acrobat now. And so what it allows us to do is take a PDF file, either on mobile, on the desktop, through the website, and share it with a group of folks. And then anybody who signs in to Document Cloud can review, add comments, they can be part of a collaboration, and Document Cloud will then distribute all of those comments and all of the interactions that you're having with everyone else who's part of that review. So Document Cloud just facilitates all of that. And you can do that on a browser, with any device, you can do it in Acrobat on mobile or Acrobat on your desktop. It's just pretty amazing. Um, so before I start demonstrating this, um, I do wanna say that um, I won't be able to see all of the questions or comments in the chat pod, but there are some people from Adobe here who will be answering some questions. Um, so with that, um, on my screen is the desktop version of Acrobat. So what I wanna do here is let's begin by um, opening up a document and I'll show you the uh, share process and just where we would start. Um, and one of the other things I like about the desktop version of Acrobat is we can change the theme. So this seems like a, a silly thing, but I really like to change my theme from the uh, light to dark. Um, so Acrobat will let you change the themes just like the other tools in the uh, Creative Cloud. Um, so anyway, so um, I'm gonna come in here and just open up this first PDF here. And so this is a series of PDFs that relate to uh, different webinars that we put on for the Creative Cloud folks. And I wanna get some comments on this. So inside the interface here, over on the right hand side, we have this share button here that shows up in the top. So if I come over here and simply click on this, this is gonna open up a panel on the side. I'm gonna close this down a little bit because I think my video is probably in front of that. So inside of this panel now, we have three different groups or an accordion style panel that allows three different sections um, grouped into uh, invite people, get links, or send as an attachment. So the first group, invite people, this is where we can put in email addresses and we can put any number of email addresses in and Acrobat will take care of putting the email together and sending it out to all of the people who you put in here as a recipient. You can also define whether these uh, folks can view the file or review it. If you choose review, then they can add comments in there and use all of the different annotation tools inside of PDF. If you choose get link, I'll just come down here and uh, jump into here real quick. Get link will create a link that can be viewed by anybody who has that URL. Now what's interesting here is the people who receive this don't have to sign in to Document Cloud or have an Adobe ID. They can just see this and just view it as a member of the public. So if you generate a public link, anyone can review the document or uh, view the document, not review. If somebody is signed into Document Cloud, you can use this to review. And you would create a link if you wanted to get the link to share in another way, or you wanted Acrobat, I'm sorry, you wanted to send this out without Acrobat doing it, you wanted to do it. You would do this if you were doing something like a web conference, maybe you're using a chat or video conferencing, someplace where you wanna post a link into your software to send it out to everybody. And then finally, there's the send as attachment. So this is just like taking a PDF and just putting it right into your email application. It's not tracked through Document Cloud. They can't uh, join a shared review. This is the sort of more straightforward way of, I have a PDF, I just wanna send it out to uh, different folks. So for Get Link, let's come in here and just take a quick look at what, what this would do. So in here, I have this PDF file open. I'm gonna come down and click on Create a Link. So now, this PDF file is being pushed up to Document Cloud. It will get a URL. And once I get that URL, which I have right here, I'm gonna click copy, and then I'm gonna bring over a browser where I am not signed into Document Cloud. So I'll come up here and paste that link, press return. That's gonna bring me to that page. So I can see this showing up here. And as I mentioned, I can just go through this document and look at it. So this is a really great feature. If you have a PDF that you just wanna share with the world, maybe it's a PDF of a menu for a restaurant, any PDF that you would just wanna share out there. This is a really great way that, that you can do that. Uh, people can, of course, uh, copy the links, they can push this out and share with even more folks, um, but you won't be able to go in and do any sort of shared review here unless you were um, signed into Document Cloud. 
So that's what the first experience will look like. So I'll move that out of the way. Let's close that. Let's go back into share. The second one, send attachment. Again, that's just like attaching it to an email. But let's take a look at this one because this is the one that's really great. Um, I want to come in here and invite some people to comment on this. So I want to have a review with a bunch of different folks and just get everyone's opinions. And then I can just gather all that feedback. So I'm going to come in here and just type in the name of my colleague here. So Kim, I want her to review the file. So instead of just view, I'm going to come over here and click on review. Let's scroll down. It'll tell me the name of the document. I can type in a custom message here if I'd like. I can also choose to set a deadline. If I click on this, Acrobat will just pick a few days in the future and we can go in here and decide um, what that date is, pick a time. I'm gonna hit X on that. I'm not going to put a due date. And then I'll come in here and just click send. So now Acrobat is taking care of pushing the PDF up, creating a link and sending an email to Kim so that she can join in the review. And so once this is done, I'll say that that's been generated. And then the side panel here will now turn into a sort of control bar or a, um, a dashboard rather, letting me know everything that's happening with this document. So I can see how many people are part of this review. I can see whether or not it's been opened. So I just sent it, so she hasn't opened it yet. But as soon as she opens it, I'll be notified that something has changed and something's different for that particular document. Now, going along with that, if you look in the top right-hand area here next to my um, profile picture, there's a little bell here with a dot on it. So this is the notification center inside of Acrobat. So anytime something happens with a document that I've shared or a document that, where I'm part of that review, I'm gonna get a notification up there in the corner. So I'm not gonna click on that just yet. I wanna come over here, I'm gonna close this document and notice there's a little people icon here. So everything about the interface lets me know that this document is part of a shared review. So I'll close the tab, I'll go back to Acrobat to the main screen and on the left-hand side from the home screen, I can come down under the shared group and I can see items that are shared for viewing, items shared for review, and items that I've sent out to get a digital signature. So if I click on review, I can now see that PDF file here is now showing up in my review listing. And I can also see that there's another document that I shared with one of two commenters showing up here. So now I'm gonna come up here and click on the notification and see what's been happening. So earlier I sent out the, um, the ice cream cone PDF here out to Kim to get her comments on that. So Acrobat is letting me know that there are comments that are available to me to be able to go in there and start working with this. I can also see comments if I go to the Document Cloud website. So I'm gonna bring that up here as well. So here's the website. Again, the interface looks uh, exactly the same. There's no dark theme on the website, but uh, I like that on my desktop view. And I'll come in here and come down to for a review and I can see these documents inside of here as well. So any device, any browser, I can uh, continue in this workflow. Notifications up here as well. So I'm gonna go back to just Acrobat, so you can do this in Acrobat or on the web. And I'm gonna come in here to the notifications and see what she's commented on. And then I'll come in here and just simply click on any one of those comments. By clicking on the comment, Acrobat or the website will then load the PDF, load the commenting panel, and bring me to exactly the page that corresponds to the item that I clicked on in the browser or in my uh, application. So here I can see that um, she's just asking if there's an animated version of this particular graphic here, which um, yes, there is. So I'll just type, yes, I almost have it done. I really do almost have it done, so I'm not lying. That's great, I'll hit post. Now she will get a notification in her website, mobile app, or um, desktop app, letting her know that I've responded to one of those. And I'll come down here and click on the second piece. And she's saying that the screenshots should be a little larger. It's kind of hard to see the styles being applied in Illustrator. Okay, fair enough, that sounds great. Um, so once these are in place, I'm gonna come up here and simply click done. I'll click okay. Now I also wanna bring this up on mobile because I want you to see what that user experience looks like across all of these different devices. So we've looked at the web, we've looked at the desktop app. So on mobile devices, I'll come up here and tap on Acrobat Reader. That's gonna bring this up. Now down across the bottom, just like the home screen on our desktop applications, we have home, files, shared, and search. So if I come over here and tap on shared in the um, lower bar there, I can see all of the items that are part of a share. So for viewing or for review, 
let me switch, switch over to review. And now I can see showing up here is the Illustrator document where I just replied to a comment that I got from Kim. Um, let's down, come down here, let's tap on that. Let's open this up. So I've already made my comments back to Kim, but if I bring this up, I have indications here showing that this is in a review. I can filter those reviews, maybe by different people, by date. I can uh, add my own comments down here at the bottom. So we now have the ability to start um, adding even more commenting tools on um, phones. Um, getting a little bit closer to what we can do on tablet devices. So let me tap on the left screen here, go back to the main screen. If I go to files, I can go and um, access any files on my machine or on Document Cloud. So I'll tap on locations. If I go to Document Cloud, I can see all the items in Document Cloud. Anything that I've pushed for review will show in Document Cloud. And then of course I can come down to more locations. I can swipe backwards. I can go to Creative Cloud, maybe down to my webinars. And here I might load a second PDF file from Creative Cloud. And from here, I can do the same uh, process to share this out. In the top area, right up here, I can tap on Share, and we'll see exactly the same workflow we saw on the desktop application. I can invite people, I can generate a link, or I can share a copy, and then I can take that PDF file, send it to my email, I can push it to another application on my operating system here, or um, push that into Acrobat here and just send out that email. So again, such an incredible uh, number of options that we have. Um, but as I mentioned when we first started, the thing I love most about this is Document Cloud is keeping track of all of those comments that are being uh, added by everyone on the team. So now I don't have to worry about setting up my own server. I don't have to worry about um, sending form data or uh, commenting or importing comments, any of those things that we used to have to do. Document Cloud is just going to take care of that entire process for me. So now this has made my job so much easier because I can make a PDF, send it out, get all the comments in one spot, and then when I'm ready, I can gather all the comments, open up my source document, and just make all the changes that I need for my designs. And so I hope you guys uh, found that helpful. Um, before I go, I am getting one question here that's being pushed over from Alyssa. Um, and she's asking if people have to sign in to see PDFs that she shares. Um, and so the quick answer is no. If you generate that link and send it out, people can look at that without being signed in to Document Cloud or even having an Adobe ID. So again, that's a perfect um, sort of use for having a PDF and using Document Cloud to just share that out with the world. Um, however, if they do sign in, then they can join in the review that way as well. Um, so with that, uh, I hope you found that useful. I would certainly encourage you to try out a shared review. It's going to change the way you uh, manage your documents and your content. And uh, with that, I hope to see you next time.